Last week I gave a quick background on traditional double action single action pistols and why they aren't as popular as they used to be. Today I'm going to talk about why none of that matters because they are still awesome. A lot of the younger shooters of the so-called Gun Culture 2.0 have been raised on Glocks, but I actually started out shooting double actions. I grew up in the 80s and 90s with Martin Riggs and John McClane, and the Beretta 92 was the trademark of the modern action hero. The first handgun I ever fired was a Beretta 92 FS, so when I went to buy my first handgun, I bought a double action Beretta, and I could not shoot it at all. Like a lot of people, I was struggling with that double action trigger. So of course I sold it and then I bought another double action Beretta. And then I bought two more double action pistols after that. So I was kind of stubborn about it. And all of this time I was gradually improving as a shooter, but I was still having a lot of trouble with trigger control. So I went to a shooting class taught by a local instructor and asked if he had any advice for learning that double action trigger and his advice was to buy a 1911. I think he was only half joking, but that was the only advice that he offered, and he was pretty adamant that in order for you to reach your full potential as a shooter, you had to shoot a single action. Unfortunately, that experience is not unique. One of the biggest problems with mastering double action pistols is not so much that it's really all that difficult, but there are just so many instructors out there who don't really know how to run these guns well, and they give really bad advice. Well, at the time, I couldn't afford to start shooting 45 instead of 9mm, so I didn't switch over to the 1911, but I did buy a striker fire pistol and I started practicing a lot more regularly, and that is when I started to see a lot of progress in my ability as a shooter. So now, several years later, it might seem strange that I am switching back to primarily shooting and carrying double action pistols. But there's a good reason for it, and really it goes back to the very reason that double action pistols were invented to begin with, and that was to balance shootability with safety. Traditional double action pistols offer more layers of safety than either single actions or striker fired pistols. There's really no way for me to explain this better than the late Todd Green, so I'm just going to quote one of his forum posts from a few years back. With a trigger pull that is both longer and heavier than most other actions, there is far more tactile feedback that the trigger is being pulled in between the start of an inadvertent, unintentional movement and the big loud noise. We've lost sight of this as a community with the prevalence of ever lighter and shorter striker fired action triggers, and candidly, I doubt we'll see that pendulum swing back anytime soon. The shooting community always blames the operator for every accident and never considers the role that equipment plays in making some guns more or less likely to facilitate those accidents. What that means is that if you make a mistake and you get your finger on the trigger too early, which happens to people a lot when they're under stress, or if you think you need to shoot someone and then you realize that you don't, the long travel of that double action trigger gives you a split second longer to correct your course of action before you put a bullet somewhere it doesn't belong. Double action pistols are also safer when you're holstering the gun. This is probably one of the most dangerous things we do with handguns and it's where a lot of accidents happen. With a double action pistol, you can put your thumb on the hammer after you decock and that way it's impossible for the gun to discharge if you accidentally leave your finger on the trigger or if you get a strap or a piece of shirt caught in the trigger guard. And if you don't remember to decock or thumb the hammer, then you're really just a pound or two of pressure away from where you'd be with a striker fired gun anyway. But the advantages of traditional double action pistols are not just safety related. It's also possible to reach a very high level of performance with these guns if you master the double action trigger. Once you get past that first shot, you've got a very short trigger reset and usually a really nice single action trigger that's superior to just about any striker fired gun. Now, I don't want to ignore the shortcomings of double action pistols that I talked about last week. It's still going to take a little more effort and practice to learn how to run one of these guns really well compared to a pistol with fewer controls and a trigger that's consistent from one shot to the next. But I can give you four of the factors that led to my decision to switch back to double actions. First, I carry in the appendix inside the waistband position. So if I do make a mistake when I'm reholstering, my femoral artery is right there and that can be really bad. I use a safe reholstering technique that greatly mitigates that risk, but I like the extra layer of safety that I get from being able to ride the hammer with my thumb when I'm reholstering. Number two, I do a lot of shooting. 
I'm at the range at least once a week and that comes out to thousands of repetitions in and out of the holster. And each one of those is an opportunity to make a potentially fatal mistake. So again, the most common accidents at the range are a lot less likely with a traditional double action pistol. Third, watching other people shoot has relieved me of any delusion that anyone's gun handling is always 100% safe. I've taken over 300 hours of firearms training from more than 30 different instructors. I know that even experienced, well-trained people can occasionally slip up because I've seen them do it. And if they're capable of getting a little sloppy on a shooting range, then I'm sure I can do it under the stress of a deadly force encounter. And really, I know I can be a little careless every now and then because I've seen myself do stuff on video that I have no recollection of doing. Things like getting my finger on the trigger just a little too early when the gun comes out of the holster. Using a pistol with a double action trigger is not a substitute for trying to correct that behavior, but it is a good redundancy to have, especially when you consider that we're often not aware of the stuff that we might be doing that is unsafe. Finally, I have a really low tolerance for bad triggers, and most factory triggers in striker-fired guns are pretty terrible. I can shoot these pistols, but not nearly as well as I would like, and really, I don't know many shooters who are performing at a high level who leave their striker-fired pistols completely stock. It's really common to try to improve these guns with different aftermarket parts or custom work in order to try and make them more shootable but it's really hard to do that without compromising the gun in some way that makes them more susceptible to an accidental discharge. With a DASA gun, even if I get a really nice custom trigger, I still have the safety of the long length of travel of that first double action shot. I spent most of last year shooting revolvers, so that DA trigger was a natural thing for me to transition to, and that's a big part of why I chose double action guns rather than a single action or a striker fired gun with a manual thumb safety. So before you head to the comments section, I hope that I have made it clear that I'm not saying that you have to carry a double action pistol in order to be safe. I will continue to recommend and test and review striker fired pistols and all other types of handguns. I'm just saying that the average armed person probably hasn't given enough thought to just how easy it might be for their gun to go bang when they didn't intend for it to. It would be pretty hypocritical for you to carry a gun in the unlikely event that you need it to save your life, but then turn around and refuse to give any critical thought to the safety of your chosen firearm because you believe you can beat the odds and never make a mistake.